What is up everybody? It's your boy Pastor Duty back again with another sermon. Actually not a sermon but a video. We're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap video after his disastrous late night stream of Low Tip Rush. Apparently it was the premiere game. Our boy Phil was hoping it was going to be a banger. He was hoping that he was going to get the tips and the support and the memberships and it just went flat out terrible. Oh my lord even making even the whale call didn't even help him he may have to revert back to uh doing the big tweets uh, i'm assuming if support continues to be this slow he's gonna have he's gonna be doing that so essentially first stream was a disaster a boy phil is already contemplating and talking about wage quitting this game he's gonna give it one more try on friday but if support's not there he's just gonna dump this game just like he dumped kirby dying light you name it so let's get into the video folks good evening everyone phil here and welcome to the daily wrap for what was february 1st 2023 the first day of the new month as you can see as a result we have new decorations and new things going on here on the channel for the new month which is awesome um new members goal today as well uh a new game that we tried today so we have a lot to talk about tonight all right um it was also my final consecutive streaming day of the week, and normally I would not be streaming on a Wednesday, but my wife's work schedule had changed halfway through the week. I said, okay, well then I will be here today for seven straight days, what should we do? And so on the Level 1 podcast, we had a lot to talk about. There was a lot of game news that happened overnight, a lot of canceled stuff, a lot of delayed stuff, a lot of other things to talk about, some good sales results for God of War Ragnarok. Just in general, uh, a lot of interesting topics to discuss, so we did, um, and it was a pretty good show in that regard. Uh, and, of course, talking about upcoming events and things was fun. And, of course, taking a look at um, the new decorations. People really seem to like them. There's a lot of, you know, positivity and stuff in general on the podcast. A good one today. And then uh, we started up with more Dead Space Remake Endgame stuff. Although I say Endgame, we were starting around Chapter 6. Chapter 6? I think we were in Chapter 6. and Or was it Chapter 8? It was either Chapter 6 or Chapter 8. But today was a really long segment, and I think chapter 8 is the longest chapter in the game, by far. There's tons going on. By the way, our boy Phil is rocking back and forth on the X, Y, and Axis, and that typically happens to people that are Jones and things. Uh, apparently, our boy, yeah, and I don't think he did well in the first stream. I think he cracked maybe 60 bucks for his, uh, his uh, Dent Space playthrough as well, so 60 bucks, coupled with the fact that he made 17 bucks on the night stream, and ultimately what, it, what what that means is uh you know vince mcmahon his his man gets hurt so hardest hit wwe champions and he's just rocking back and forth because he knows he's only going to be able to maybe do two or three pools uh tonight so and in dead space remake today i definitely noticed some distinct differences from the original game uh, notably, the Zero G. You know, the Zero G stuff is so different from the original game where you can actually freeform float around. There was actually an entirely newly designed boss fight today that wasn't in the original game. It was totally different. In the original game, I believe you were actually piloting, uh, well, controlling a bunch of turrets, like laser turrets, and shooting at asteroids at one part, and then later on, you were fighting a boss with them. Well, in this time, all you're doing is you're free-flowing in the Zero G, and you touch buttons to make those turrets kind of go where you're aiming. So you're basically using giant weapons to shoot a giant boss, which is kind of neat. It's very different from how it was in the original game. Um, and by the end of today's stream, we were in Chapter 10 and had the ability now to do a lot of the side content. We actually completed two different side content missions, one of which allows you to get the master key so you can unlock all of the doors on the Ishimura. And then the other one allows you to complete a side content quest line, which I will not tell you what the plot is, but at the end you get a really good rare item that I don't think was present in the original Dead Space game, if I'm not correct. It's something, if, if, I think it's something completely new for this one. Um, so basically it was pretty interesting because we were doing all this new stuff and I was like, oh, kind of adds a little bit. But in general, it's still the same game. I mean, at this point now, we're like 15 hours in. Or is it 13 hours in? I forget exactly how many hours in we are. But it definitely feels like you're still playing Dead Space 1 with every once in a while a 5 to 10 minute departure somewhere a little different and then right back on the track of Dead Space 1 again. Um, so overall, am I having a good time with it? Yes, I'm enjoying myself. I'm still having a good time with Dead Space. However, admittedly, it's getting harder and harder now that we're reaching the end of the game 
to really justify a $70 price tag if you've already played the original. Like, it really does feel like it's mostly the same game. Okay? Yeah, he's only saying that because as he's played this game, the tips have declined significantly. And I think he's been, I, I, what he is, his fourth playthrough, maybe fifth playthrough of this game? Five, five streams, I think. First day was okay. I think he cracked 100 bucks. And then after everything after that has just been super low. I mean, it's it's fine. He's made his money of, you know, he's made his money back and everything. But of course, uh, like I stated before, Phil has this calculation in his brain that, you know, if he's paying $70 for a game or whatever it is he's playing, he expects a multiplier of, say, five or ten. So, you know, if he doesn't make six, seven, you know, if he plays 70 bucks, he doesn't make 600, 700 bucks off that playthrough. Then he's going to complain about having to fork out money uh for these games now game pass games where he doesn't pay anything about them of course the multiplier is going to be a little bit less uh you know just just like we saw with his uh uh, uh playthrough uh, uh the late playthrough of high rush where he made 17 bucks now of course he didn't pay anything for the game well you know if you don't include the um the monthly game pass cost which is 16 bucks but you know um so yeah, so 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 that's why. So we all know that Phil, uh, he he looks at games from the lens of how much money he makes. I mean, he could be playing, well, what's the crappiest game? He could be playing that Burger King game that came out for the Xbox 360, and if he makes great tips, he will claim that that game is one of the greatest games ever. And of course, you know, since Dent Dent Space hasn't really been bringing in the, uh, you know, hasn't been bringing the boys to the yard. Uh, Phil is going to completely crap on it and not crap on it, but he'll say that oh, it really wasn't worth it I shouldn't have spent the money. I should have just played the original Dead Space uh, When of course if he would have received more tips, he would have been you know It would have been Kalisto protocol uh, Level goodness of the game, but we'll see as we continue on now We finished around chapter 10 the game has 13 chapters. So we still have 10 11 12 13 however, I do remember that the final chapters are a little bit on the shorter side and there is some side content left, but we're almost done with it. So, I think one more major stream, we should wrap up Dead Space uh, Remake, okay? Now, the late stream tonight was something completely interesting and different. It was me checking out a game called Hi-Fi Rush. This is a game that came out a, a week ago. Completely shocking. No one knew it was coming out, and all of a sudden, it was surprised, announced, and released on Game Pass. It's from Tango Gameworks, the people who had previously made The Evil Within and Ghost Rush, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo last year. It's completely different from those style of games. It's an action platformer, cel-shaded uh, gameplay, uh, graphics I should say, with gameplay where the combat is in tune with a musical beat. It's completely unique. I don't think I've ever played something that felt like this before, all right, with the kind of musical beat you need to fight, fight with. Um, although admittedly, does it feel like it's anything insanely innovative or different? Honestly, no. It feels like an action platformer that's like PS2 or PS3 era with better graphics, good, uh, interesting writing. Some of it's a little cringe, but most of it's kind of funny. And, uh, you know, this music mechanic. The music is the best part of it, in my opinion. I played for two hours. I love the soundtrack, okay? Now, interestingly enough, all right, people showed up to check it out. They're Wait, you love the soundtrack, but you shut off the soundtrack. You, play, you put it on streamer mode. So it played this very generic, crappy music in the background. Uh, and, and I know you want to, you know, you want to make your, you know, your two cents ad revenue on this, on this playthrough, but you should have just let the game play with the original music. The original music is way, I played the game a little bit. It's, it's okay. It's a good game. Uh, you know, for the, for the cost and, you know, it cost anything. It's on game pass. Uh, but the original music is a lot better than that streaming crap that he's playing. So attendance was quite good for a late stream. The engagement was quite good for a late stream. The support was nearly non-existent and I don't know what happened. If every, usually, if I'm doing something where there's engagement and people are showing up and having a good time and I'm, I'm at least enjoying the game, usually support is at least half decent. It was actually the lowest supported stream of this year so far. It was one of the lowest supported streams I've had in months. I don't know why. It wasn't like there was an explanation for it. It was like that people weren't having a good time. Um, it just was bad. And the thing is, I don't know how long the game is. We beat two stages. We beat the intro stage and the whole first level. So we basically beat, basically beat two worlds. I think there's probably five more because there, there was a, at the moment at the end of the second level, this call opens up and it kind of shows five bosses. I think, okay, maybe those are the five remaining levels in the game, right? Five levels for five bosses. If that's the case and each level is five to, to, you know, one to two hours long, you're probably talking another 
five to eight hours, depending. Which would not be bad, you know, ten hour game or whatever for Game Pass. Probably not bad at all. But, I think it's okay. I'm not in love with it, again. Uh, but I don't want to commit to a full playthrough if it's not something that people are convinced they want to see. Maybe people showed up just for curiosity purposes and after seeing what it was, weren't too impressed. And that's why the support was so bad. I don't know. Alright, I really can't explain it. Like, literally every other game this week did well. And on top of that, people seemed to be here for the stream, and it just didn't happen, alright? not going to harp on it, I'm not going to freak out about it, I'm just making an observation, alright? So here's what's going on. Tomorrow I'm off from streaming, okay? Tomorrow there will be a new video upload. By the way, that's his new, uh, that's his new phrase. Uh, I'm not going to harp about it, I'm just making an observation. <laughs> you're harping on it, and you're making an observation because you want to harp on the fact that you didn't get the tips, Phil. <laughs> Just the mere fact that you brought it up and spent God knows how much time on your podcast, I mean, you're, you're wrapped talking about it, just states that it annoys you and states that you bring it up. And just the mere fact that you're sitting there just simply saying, oh, I'm making an observation. Okay, I can make an observation that, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, that the moon has no oxygen or very little oxygen. What does that have to do with anything? The only reason why I would bring it up is because I'm concerned or I'm worried about it or I'm thinking about it. Other than that, I wouldn't bring it up. Same with your tips, Phil. The same thing. If you're not concerned about it, then why bother even bringing it up? And the reason is you're, you're starting to uh, to grease the skids to uh, so that if Friday, if you don't get the support that you're looking for, you're going to wage quit the game. You're going to just wage quit it and just dump it and go play something else. And then what you're probably going to do is go play uh, 007, which is horrific. That is, God, awful. It's so bad. You're going to play that, and no one's going to tip you there either. So just keep playing the game. It's not long. Finish it up and just move on. Stop worrying about... Just stop worrying about... Hey, this man... I've said it a thousand times. This man, he doesn't live day, day to day, paycheck to paycheck. He lives tip to tip. His life revolves around every single tip that he gets and his on-stream presence, so... Anyway. To DSP Gaming. I'm going to upload a video that's a side-by-side -side comparison of my original gameplay of Dead Space from 10 years ago. The one that I did the full playthrough of for a retro replay. And I'm going to compare that side-by-side -side with Dead Space Remake. It's a really special video that kind of shows the differences in the intro and how things are done and some of the dialogue and, of course, the graphics. That should be fun. That's going to be go live tomorrow on DSP Gaming. And then on Friday... It's another full streaming day. It's going to be Dead Space Remake's conclusion on the first stream. And we are going to do one more night stream of Hi-Fi Rush. If it does better, <clears throat> meaning if people still show up, engage, and will actually support the game, then I'll play it more and probably try to finish it. But if we have another night like tonight where it basically, you know, it's non-existent, we can do other things you guys want to see. We've got many games possible. we got 007 GoldenEye, which is on Game Pass. We've got the new SpongeBob game that just came out yesterday. We've got a plethora of games that came out in the fall that we could possibly check out instead. You know, I want to do stuff that you guys want to see. It seemed like all week you guys were interested in this. And then when I finally played it, I don't know what to say. You know, I just went by feedback. So, let's see what happens again. I, again, I sound, I disliked it. I thought it was alright. I'm not in love with Hi-Fi Rush, but I also don't hate it. I thought it was alright, and I would consider playing it further if it's something you guys want. Alright? So, let me know. Let me know what you think. Give me your opinion, but also, if you like it, I really hope you'll show up Friday and support it. Or, hey, if you're watching it on demand after the fact now, and, hey, you want to support it with a super thanks or a tip, that would be great. Because, man, it was the slowest stream I've done in a long time. I don't know what happened there, okay? Remember what he said two minutes ago? What did he say? What? Not even two minutes ago. A little longer than that. It wasn't a concern. He's not worrying about it. And yet, he's still talking about support. He's still talking about this game. He's still talking about pre people coming to support it because of course like i said he is going to dump this game just like he did dying light 2 just like he did every other playthrough that didn't bring in the cash into the north fort so so anyway again i'm not here tomorrow it's my day off i hope you all have a great day be safe remember if you watch anything here on dsp gaming remember to give it a like possibly leave some comments even youtube shorts which now are very important YouTube shorts are not supposed to be fully monetized, so if you're watching a YouTube short, I get credit for it, which is great. It didn't used to happen until today. Yes, I did put out a new YouTube short today. It was from NBA 2K15. Yes, that old of a playthrough. One of the funniest moments from my past. I hope you'll give it a look. 
Let me know what you think of that short. And like I said, new video coming tomorrow. And then I'll actually have another YouTube short lined up for you guys this coming Friday along with a full day of streams. Okay, guys? Thank you all. Great streaming week. Please have a good night. I hope to see you on Friday when I get back. In the meantime, have a great Thursday. Sound good? Everyone, peace out. Have a good night. See you later. Alrighty, folks, that's the video. Anyway, I'm calling it. I think he's going to wage quit it on Friday. The support's just not there. The, if you watch the play, the games are okay. It's not a bad game. It's not my cup of tea, but it's not, it's not a bad game. The Phil just makes it so utterly boring. I mean, it's pretty action-packed, and he's just sit there, and, he, you know, he'll say something, and the kids, you know, hur, 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 and that's the extent of it. And then you can see him bouncing back and forth, looking at his screen, waiting for tips to come in. And, and, and that, that became the focus of the stream. And who really wants to watch that? I watched it simply to see how terrible he was going to be at this game. And uh, he, <laughs> he wasn't good at the game at all. I mean, it, it, it relies on combos and doing specific things a certain way. And you get points or you get a rating. And yeah, it, it was just bad. His, his, his old self is just so slow and he can't react to things. And it takes forever for him to do something. So anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.